Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It has been a really long time since I have done a clean with me video and you'll see a wardrobe change midway through because this is spread over two days. I had a lot of little odds and ends of things to clean and I couldn't do it all in one day. So if you gotta do some cleaning, throw on that diffuser and let's do some cleaning. So when I clean, I actually like to put my phone in airplane mode and put on a podcast. And lately I've been really liking the self healer soundboard from the holistic psychologist, Nicole LaPera. And then I also have been really liking the energy hospital podcast from St. Finnegan. So I have that going in my ears right now, at least for this first day of cleaning. So I'm doing a lot of sweeping. We had a lot of crumbs on the floor in the kitchen here. So I wanted to fill you all in on what has been going on in life and all of that. So this house that I'm cleaning is my mother-in-law's house. This is where we have lived for the last two, almost two and a half years. Here's the situation. So my husband and I sold our house in May of 2019. And at that same time, my father-in-law passed away suddenly. And so we went down to Orlando for about three months. Um, this was kind of our plan when we initially sold our house to do Disney content and various things like that. And um, we ended up coming back in 2019, around November. So side note, I'm putting some purification on my vacuum filters so that when I vacuum the house, it cleans the air at the same time. Two birds. So anyway, we came back in mid-2019 and we obviously didn't have a house in Ohio anymore. So we moved in here with my mother-in-law a lot, mostly to kind of keep her company since she had a big empty house now. Also, we didn't have a place to go yet. And so mid 2019, then the holidays came, my mom got sick, went into the hospital at the, um, like right after Christmas in 2019 was in there for about a month after hospital stay and rehab to get healthy again. And so she was back and, you know, doing rehab and all those things. February, 2020 came, we started hearing about COVID then March, 2020 came and you know, the rest is history. And so it was kind of like we were trudging through jello. It was <laughs> like 2020 is a blur. I have no idea what happened in 2020. 2021 also was kind of the same blur. And so now that we're in 2022, my husband and I are looking for a house of our own. We've qualified for a mortgage and we are doing some shopping here in central Ohio to find a house. So the housing market is insane here in central Ohio. This is the fastest growing housing area in the USA because of all of the industry that has been happening here in Central Ohio for the last few years and what is coming. And so houses are flying off the shelves. And it's also, I mean, just because of the crazy of 2020, 2021, too, that it's kind of, you know, been just a really tough market. When houses go up, they are listed about 100,000 over what they were in the beginning part of 2020. So the cost of them, we're just kind of accepting they are a lot higher than what we were used to seeing the last time we sold a house. Um, the house that we sold would literally be 100000 more now than what we sold it for in mid-2019. So that's something we're kind of just accepting. Um, the other thing too is that they're going so quickly. The houses will come up. It's kind of, this is what the trend is. Then they will be um, having an open house on the weekend that it goes live. They will have multiple offers over list price and the house will be sold within the weekend. So that they don't really last longer than one or two days. So if there is a house that we really like, we have to put an offer in and it has to be over list price pretty immediately after it's up. So we did put an offer in on one house. It was not accepted. Um, so we are continuing continuously looking for a house um, of our own to be in. And so um, I'm ready for us to be in our new space. I'm ready to be able to share that content with you. Um, 
in being in our own space, I know that's going to open up the ability for me to do organizing videos and collab videos and kind of get back to what I really enjoyed sharing on YouTube prior to when we left the first time and went to Orlando. So that will be coming and I will keep you all updated as to when I have a house and all of that. Probably the more real-time updates on all of that, which is just easier for me to do, will be over on Instagram and on TikTok. You've noticed, I'm sure, that I've changed my social media handle names and this channel started out as Annie Simple Life. And then when we went to Orlando, we didn't know we were only going to be there for three months. Um, I changed everything to Annie Ever After because it kind of made more sense being in Orlando. Orlando. And now that we are back in Ohio, it didn't really make sense to keep the Annie Ever After name because that was more like Disney like, right? So then I just changed it to my name <laughs> because that's more me than anything else. So um, that's where you'll find me over on TikTok. I'm just Ann Dunnington, no spaces or dots or anything. On Instagram, I am Dunnington now over there. And then obviously this channel name has changed to Ann Dunnington as well, which has confused a lot of people, <laughs> especially in the Disney community. Um, I am a moderator for a lot of Disney live streams and I think it threw everybody off because they would see my profile picture, but then they're like, who is this? <laughs> this is not Annie ever after what happened to Annie. Um, Annie was a nickname. Annie is not my name. And he was a nickname growing up and through high school. And so that's what I started as my alias <laughs> through social media way back in 2010. And um, I decided it's time to just be me because that's who I am. So anyway, that's where we're at. So I'm excited to share my upcoming new house content with you as soon as that comes about. All right, so let's get back to cleaning here. So I am making a soft scrub using some Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate. That's that little cap full of things that I put in there and baking soda. And I'm just putting that on a sponge here and cleaning out my sink. I love this homemade soft scrub. It works so, so well and it's so cheap and it's not harmful to my skin or my lungs or anything. I don't have to wear gloves when I use it and it works incredibly well um, when I I am cleaning out my sinks or using it to clean toilets or I can clean my shower with it as well. It takes soap scum right up, especially if you have hard water stains and things like that. This house has very hard water and so this takes those stains right up. So I love using this homemade soft scrub when I'm doing my cleaning. Look how sparkly. It's so nice. So I wanted to also, while I was in the kitchen, get my diffuser on. And so in my quest to get rid of anything that we don't want to move to the new house, I'm getting rid of my empty essential oil bottles. So these are empties, but they do have some oil residue in them. So I'm just plopping them inside my diffuser water there and letting the oil just come out using the water. And so it'll make a nice little diffuser blend using every little last bit drop of oil that I have in those bottles. And I have so many empties that I have been just doing this in my diffusers for like the last three or four days. And I probably, in looking at my oil shelf, have maybe 10 days to go <laughs> with doing that. So I'm just trying to like, if I don't have to move it, I'm just going to try to get rid of it. So going through all of that stuff. So back to sweeping here, sweeping the foyer, um, just trying to get all of the dust and the crumbs and dirt and all sorts of things just swept into piles. And I'm going to grab my stick vac again and sweep up those piles. Just get those vacuumed up as well. My cleaning here with the vacuuming and the um, sweeping and stuff, I just did on the lower level of the house. Upstairs is all carpet. So I didn't really do much with other than just vacuuming the upstairs part, but I didn't take any video of that. So just kind of getting the common areas down here cleaned up and nice. Um, my mother-in-law has been out of town. And so as she gets back, I just wanted to kind of have the house picked up a little bit, um, especially in those more common areas. So doing some sweeping of the rugs and sweeping of the floors and all of that kind of stuff. Wanted to take the trash out too um, and the recycle out to the recycle and the trash bins in the garage. So this front room here, I didn't really have to do much. I just wanted to get the big blanket folded up. This room gets really chilly because it's over top of a crawl space. And so it's not super insulated under the floor. And so it gets a little bit chilly and this is the room where if we do watch TV and we don't watch a whole lot of TV, but if we did, um, it is in this room. The TV is on the desk that's on the left-hand side of their screen there. And so just wanted to get the blanket folded up. It
it is ready to go for Super Bowl Sunday. Let's go Bengals. All right, so I'm going to switch days here. This is day two, and we are going into laundry mode. So I had a load of clothes that I needed to do, and then I wanted to wash our towels and wash our sheets as well. So first I am doing just a load of clothes. I don't really separate my darks and my lights and all the things. Um, sometimes I do, most of the time I don't. I just throw it all in together. Does that make me a, a bad homemaker? I think it probably does, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So the laundry soap that I like to use is the Thieves Laundry Soap. Laundry soap is one of the most toxic things we have in our homes because we're getting toxins three ways. When we are wearing the clothes, it off gases um, into the air we're breathing as we're wearing them. And the residue goes into our bloodstream as we're wearing them as well. And then the fumes off gas into the house as they're being washed. So I love the Thieves Laundry Soap because there's no fragrance in there. No artificial fragrance. The only thing in there is like essential oils to scent it. And so, and it works really, really, really well. So that's what I have there. I actually dilute it down in half and I just add a couple capfuls of that Thieves household cleaner that I mentioned before to dilute it down. Couple capfuls of that, half laundry soap, half water. And that's what I use for my laundry soap. So as those were washing, I went ahead and got the sheets off of the bed here too. I want to know, leave a comment below and let me know if you use a top sheet. There are people apparently that don't use a top sheet and I've always used a top sheet and I'm just wondering, are you a top sheet user or are you not? No judgment for me at all. I just didn't realize that there were people that don't use a top sheet. <laughs> This isn't something that's been circulating through the Instagram sphere of people my age. And um, I just, I had no idea that that was a thing. So let me know. Do you use a top sheet or not? I'm so curious <laughs> to know. So these sheets actually are Bampure sheets that I got from Amazon. They are bamboo sheets and are the softest thing in the world. I will link them below. They are so, so good. I love them. We have them up here in this house and then my mother-in-law's condo in Florida. We have a pair or a sheet set down there. Also same white sheets. They are so, so soft and wonderful. Also, I like to spray down the mattress pad with some tea tree and rosemary essential oils just to kind of clean and kill anything that might be on there. I also noticed that this chair was dusty, so I'm taking Thieves Household Cleaner that I have upstairs in the bathroom and just spraying it on the chair, taking an old rag and just dusting that. I also dusted the armoire that was next to the chair as well while I was at it. So when I was done with that, it was time for me to switch the laundry. So through all of the clothes into the dryer and then put the sheets and the towels together in the washer. And same thing, I just use my Thieves laundry soap to wash the sheets and the towels. I don't need any brighteners or anything like that or bleach or any of the like. The laundry soap works really, really well on whites and darks too. I mean, but white sheets and towels, especially it works really good on. So I like to do a few pumps in there. This is a shampoo bottle that I actually use when I dilute <laughs> the laundry soap down, but you could just dilute it down in the regular bottle. If you wanted to do that, I just found the pump top to be a little bit easier. So going to go ahead and start on the sheets and the towels, get those in there. And then once the clothes were dry, brought those upstairs and started separating the laundry. One thing I am really looking forward to in the new house that we get into is having a better space for clothing. So in this house, in this bedroom, this is actually my husband's old room um, with my husband's late grandmother's furniture that's in there. She was apparently very into the Asian inspired type of decor that she had down in her condo in Florida. And so that's what's up here in the bedroom. And in the closet that is in this room is all of my mother-in-law's um, like Christmas decor. And basically not even just Christmas, but like all holiday decorations. And so what we have to work with here is the armoire that matches this bedroom set. And so we every piece of clothing that we own fits inside this armoire, but it doesn't fit very 
well. It kind of is like overflowing. And it's not even that we have a lot of clothes. It's just that my husband and I are both sharing it. And so we both kind of do the whole capsule wardrobe type of idea, sort of. So we don't have a ton of like pants or whatever. Everything kind of matches each other. We just don't have a ton of room to put it. So um, anyway, so that you'll see that here in just a second as I start to put the clothes away. You can see kind of how full it is. Um, so this is my husband and my clothes in this armoire here. We kind of just stuff everything in and hope that the doors close. And most of the time, the doors don't close, but it's fine. It, it's fine. We do, we make do. And so that is one thing that I am looking forward to in our new house is being able to utilize storage space and closets and things like that. Um, so again, like I said, once we get into said space, I will take you along and show you how I organize everything. So by the time I got all of that stuff done, sheets, towels, everything was finished. So it's time to put the sheets back on the bed. And I don't know about you, but I just love me some clean sheets on the bed. It is just one of my favorite things to just like crawl in and know that the sheets are clean and all of that. So anyway, just getting them back on the bed here. Like I said, they are Bam Pure. I will put the link to them in the description bar below if you need any new sheets. They are fantastic bamboo sheets and they're quiet. So if you roll around and your partner or spouse, you know, doesn't want to hear you make a noise. <laughs> it doesn't really make a whole lot of noise um, when you move around, which is a really nice thing. So anywho, I just wanted to kind of give you all an update on what was going on. Hopefully this gave you some motivation to clean your house as well. As soon as I have house updates or anything like that, I will be sharing them probably mostly to start over on Instagram uh, as well as TikTok because it's just a little bit easier for me to throw a short video up there rather than a whole long video here on YouTube. But then once we are actually doing things, getting moved into the house and getting things organized and picking out furniture, you guys, we don't have furniture. Like we have nothing. We sold, when we sold our house, um, in May of 2019, we sold nearly everything. I have zero furniture. <laughs> so we're going to, that's like, we're basically starting over, um, which is exciting. So we can make this space, you know, whatever it is that we want to make it. But it's also kind of overwhelming because we literally sold everything down to our dishes, like all the things. So I will bring you along with everything that we end up purchasing and organizing and all of that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today as I did my odds and ends cleaning. Hopefully you got some stuff done too. If you haven't already and you'd like to hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you all very soon. Take care. Ciao.